All right, so before I start this video, I would want to say that if you want to get your face rated, I will have my email down in the description. Also with that, I will have my Instagram, so you can message me on Instagram and uh, I'll tell you what to do, I'll give you the instructions, and from there, uh, you'll get your uh, facial analysis within two days or maybe in a day, depending on how busy I am. So for this one, we're going to do a BTS member. I think his name is Kim. I can't really say his last name, but uh, we're going to see what his facial rating is. So his overall rating is a 6.2. How rare is that? That's one in eight people. The percentage of people is the top 12%. Now, I will say this before I start. He does have a, an extremely feminized face. So his harmony score is extremely high, but since his overall face is feminized, um, it did decrease his overall rating. So let's all right, so let's begin real quick. So his side facial score is at 50%. His front facial score is at 72%. His total facial harmony is at 63%. His facial dimorphism is a three. His body fat factors is a seven. His miscellaneous features is a nine. All right, so they got the tier list to the, to the right side, tier one ideal, tier two near ideal, tier three normal, tier four slight flaw, tier five flaw, tier six huge flaw, tier seven breaks harmony. So his overall facial assessment in the side view profile, the brow ridge inclination is sloped back at 27 degrees. And this is Neanderthalic trait that is undesirable. The orbital rim around the eyes lack forward protrusion, and this can make the eyes appear more buggy. The overall face is extremely feminized, and this affects his facial dimorphism. So his facial dimorphism is a three, and that's why his score, it didn't really drop. I mean, it did drop, but his original harmony uh, score, and your harmony score is your base. So his harmony score is a 63, but his overall is, is a 6.2. So it really pretty much stayed the same because his facial dimorphism kind of like even things out a bit. So his facial dimorphism is the only problem or the main problem. So these are rarity scores of other celebrities so you can compare. All right, so let's start with the eye separation ratio, 44.6. This is the tier one at the lower end, but this is perfect. So it goes from the pupils compared to the distance between the cheekbones. And that is good. His facial thirds is even. As you can see, everything is pretty much at 33%, and that is even, so that's good. His canful tilt is a 4.5, so that is almost close to the ideal range. It's almost there, but it's still gonna be a tier two, but nevertheless, that's not a flaw. His facial width to height ratio, so how compact is the mid face area, going from the eyebrows down to the upper lip, and then from the cheekbones. So it should be close to around a 1.9 to 2.6 and it's in between there at a 2.01. So that is ideal. So that's perfect. His jaw frontal angle. So the angle from the front of the jaw is in his is at 98 degrees. And that is slightly outside of the ideal range. I think the highest is 95. So he's only like three degrees away. So that's not too big of a flaw. And he does have a flatter jaw. So I think this will be closer to the ideal for a female. So that's why I said his face is more feminized. His cheekbones, high steadiness. So you want high cheekbones and makes your face look youthful. And his is at 85%. And this is a tier one. So he does have very high set cheekbones. And this is also perfect. His bigonial width. So how wide is his jaw relative to his cheekbones? And his is at 81.5%. And this is a tier three. It's a little bit on the lower end because he does have very wide set cheekbones. So his jaw needs to be even that much more wider, which it is not. His total facial height to width ratio. So how long is his face compared to how wide is his face? So this is just the height of the face, I guess you could say. And his is at 1.26. So this is at the lower end. So this means that he does have more of a smaller and rounder face. And ideally you want to get at least around 1.33. And his is way below that. So he does have a smaller shaped head. And this is still within the normal range, but it's not ideal. Chin to fill trim ratio is a 1.9. So that's slightly outside of the ideal range. And it should be between a two to a 2.5. 
and his is very very slightly outside so his filtering is a little bit too wide for his chin so if he had a bit of a longer chin it would be within the ideal range his neck width is a tier one at 91 uh, percent so he does have a wide neck for his jaw and this is perfect his mouth to nose width ratio is a 1.52 and that's perfect so he doesn't have too wide of a nose relative to the mouth line and it does harmonize as well with the eyes and your nose the width of your nose should be within the inner eye creases of the eyes and the mouth should be within the iris of the eye so the color portion of the eye the mid face ratio should be closer to 1.1 or 1 to 1 and his is 1.09 so he does have more of a compact mid face and it, sh it should be extremely close to one but his deviate a little bit outside of it so that would be a tier four so that would be a slight flaw so his mid face area is just a little bit too compact relative to the eyes uh, his eyebrow settiness is at 1.5 so he does have very high set eyebrows relative to the eyes or to the eye line, I guess you could say. So his, your, you, to, for it to be more masculinized, you want your eyebrows to be more closely set to the eyes. And he does kind of like that, but it's still within the normal range by any means. His eye spacing, one eye test is a tier two at 1.08. So he does have a little bit spaced out of eyes in between. So that would be a tier two. So that would be kind of close and near the ideal. Um, his eye aspect ratio, you do want almond shaped eyes and he does have almond shaped eyes at 3.3. So that's perfect. His lower lip to upper lip ratio is 1.6. So that's within the ideal range. So your upper lip is supposed to be slightly smaller than your bottom lip to be within the 1.4 to 2. Uh, his uh, deviation from the isprolateral alier angle and the jaw frontal angle and his is at two degrees and this is perfect you do not want it to be higher than 15 degrees but preferably you don't want it to be higher than five degrees to get it to your one and his is pretty much parallel to the jaw frontal angle so that's good harmony his eyebrow tilt is 15 degrees and that is a tier three so this is extremely extremely feminized he does have very very tilted eyebrows and that is not per that is not preferred in a man's face i guess you could say it but in the female's face that will be perfect so that's why i said his face is more feminized than masculine his bitemporal width is a tier one so he does have a wide forehead so the bitemporal width is from the temple relative to the cheekbones and his is at 85 percent and that is a tier one so he does have a good wide forehead his lower lip or his lower third proportion so your third your lower third can be divided into three and it should be around 33 percent and it should not deviate more than 3% away from 33. And his is at the higher end at 36%. So this is a tier one. So that's perfect. His isprolateral alier angle is 100 degrees. And this means that he does have a wider set eyes. Like I said, again, the spacing in between the eyes. Um, I think that what created, you know, this angle. Um, and his eyes are just more wider set. Like the actual eyes itself is just more wider set. The pupils are more closer relative to the cheekbones, but the eyes itself are just more wider set. So that is still within the normal range, but it's not ideal. His gonial angle is a tier five at 133 degrees. And this is not ideal at, by any means necessary. And this is more closer to the feminized range. Even it's not within the ideal for the fem, for the female range, but this is just feminized in general. Like his gonial angle is supposed to be a little bit more tighter and it would have more angle to it, more sharp angle to it. His nasal frontal angle is a tier three, so that is the nasal bridge relative to the brow ridge, and you do want to have a more protrusive brow ridge relative to your nasal bridge, and his is not that at all. It's more on the feminized range, like I said again, at a tier three, so that's with the normal range, but that's not ideal. His mandibular plane angle, so how downswung is your mandible? And his is at 18 degrees, so this is perfect. It's supposed to be between 15 and 22, and he does fall between it. His ramus to mandible is 70%, so his ramus is 70% of the mandible, and this is perfect. So he does have a lot of jaw body, as you can see from that, um, from this right here. His facial convexity from the gabella is a tier two. Um, is very, very slightly outside of the range at, 107, at 167 degrees. 
and his facial convexity is more on the rounder side but by any by any means this is not a flaw um this is just literally like one degree away from the ideal range if it was at, at least 168 that would have been ideal but this is by any means no flaw necessary his submental curvical angle determines how high your hyoid is so he doesn't have any you know submental fat underneath the chin and his is a tier one so that's perfect <clears throat> his nasal facial angle is a tier one um, at 35 degrees and this is perfect and it should be between 30 and 36 degrees and this determines the relationship between your nose and your chin or your nasal bridge down to your chin and uh, it doesn't also take your facial convexity into account for this angle his nasal labial angle is uh, determines how upturned or downturned your nose is and his is at 99 degrees and this is more close to the female range he does have a more upturned nose but still this is perfect his orbital vector is slightly negative um so what this means is that it will make your eyes look more bulgy more buggy i guess and you'll have a little bit of that more buggy eye appearance and um you're, you want your orbital ramps to go past your actual eye so it just looks better just to have your orbital ramps go past your eye it, you know just that protrusiveness to the actual bone of your underneath your eye and it makes your eyes more deep set so that would be a, um, a slight flaw for that one his total facial convexity uh this is the only difference between the total facial convexity and the regular convexity is that the total facial convexity takes into account his nose or his nasal protrusion and it is at 144 degrees and this is perfect so he does have a good um, nasal protrusion in with the, his actual facial convexity. His mental labial angle is a tier one at 120 degrees, and this is perfect as well. So this is the indent between the bottom lip and the chin, and he does have that proper angle that is needed. His facial convexity from the nasion, so instead of from the gabella, which is the brow ridge, is going to the nasion. <coughs> Which is, the, which is the nasal bridge and is at 163 uh, degrees and the only difference is a, it's going to be uh three degrees less from the gabella angle so 163 degrees is perfect and it's within the ideal range so that's good his nasal projection so this determines how projected his nose is and his nose is not projected at all within reason and um, 0 0.36, so 36% uh, percent of the width relative to the nasal bridge. And um, his and his is at a tier four, so that is a slight flaw, but this by no means is perfect. And is more feminizing as well. His nasal width is a high projection, so this det determines the length of the actual nose relative to the face. And um, his is at 84%, percent, so he does have somewhat of a lengthy nose, so the length of the actual nose is good. His rickets E-line, so the E-line is perfect, goes from the tip down to the chin, and the bottom lip is supposed to be more closer to the line than the upper lip, which it is, so that's perfect. His H-line is also perfect as well, that's a tier one. His S-line is also perfect as well, goes from the middle of the nose down to the chin, and both lips are supposed to be touching, and as you can see, they both touch. And for the H-line, it goes from the upper lip, I forgot to say that, down to the chin, and the bottom lip is supposed to touch, which it does. And the bursta line is also a tier one as well. It goes from the nasion down to the chin, and the upper lip is supposed to be a little, bit, a little bit more protrusive than the bottom lip. And as you can see, that is the case. His nasal mental ankle is a tier one at 126, 126 degrees, and this is perfect. And this shows the relationship between the nose and the chin again. This is another measurement, but it also takes your facial convexity into account as well. And this is ideal. His gonial angle, so you do want your gonia to be below your mouth line, and it is below his mouth line, so that's ideal. He doesn't have any chin recession or any jaw recession, so his jaw or so his mandible is very protrusive for this to his face, so that's good. He does all right, so his brow ridge inclination, like I said before, is at 27 degrees, so that is within the normal range, but his brow or his forehead is a little bit too slow, is a little bit too slow back, and this is not ideal and this is just too near the thalic. so you do want to have a forehead that's not too slow back and not too forward or too rounded and his is just too slow back so this is going to be unideal 
but it's still going to be within the normal range within reason it's still within reason it's not way too slow back but it's still within reason it's just not ideal or perfect his nasal tip is 121 degrees and this is perfect and he does and the thing is he does have an upturned nose so usually the nasal tip will be more wider if you have a more upturned nose but his is not too upturned by any means necessary so his nasal tip angle is perfect at 121 degrees and that is within the ideal range all right so thank y'all for watching like i said again if you want to get your face rated make sure to email me it will be down in the description or i'll have my ig i'll put my ig down in the description make sure to dm me i'll get to you it will take me like a day or two to analyze your face and yeah i'll give you the instructions and we'll go from there so i'm out peace